Coming up on In the Works, we'll learn how the Northeast High School Culinary Arts Academy is preparing the next generation of chefs to take over the kitchen in a new state-of-the-art facility. We are finding out what ingredients are necessary to be successful in the field, and advice from a local chef who's been serving up delicious meals for years at the Vinoy. Stay with us because more In the Works is coming up. Hello and welcome to In the Works, a show that highlights the very best programs throughout Pinellas County that prepare students for career or college after graduation. I'm Marissa Allen. Each episode will highlight a different career academy, magnet program, or other opportunities for students in the district. Today we're featuring the Culinary Arts Academy at Northeast High School. <laughs> The Culinary Arts Academy at Northeast High School exposes students to all aspects of the hospitality industry. From preparing meals to menu planning, aspiring chefs have a chance to learn the same techniques found in the field and develop their passions. For over a decade, students come to Northeast High School's Culinary Arts Academy to learn more about the hospitality industry. Some students enter the program with a little more to learn than others. I knew how to cook ramen noodles and stuff like that and help out mom with cooking and whatnot, but the culinary end of it, the vocabulary, that's definitely something you learn. I really don't know how to cook, so I really wanted to learn some new things, but after being in the program, I decided that I wanted a career in culinary. This year, students enrolled in the academy are learning proper technique in a brand new facility that features gas ovens, new steamers, and a redesigned dining area. Students here have a great advantage in that we have a uh, state-of-the-art facility and so it's so important for a student to uh, train and learn on uh, equipment they're going to see in industry. So when a student graduates from Northeast High, they go right into industry and they understand all the equipment that uh, industry has and that is a huge uh, part of being successful. The old facility, uh, now uh, electric stoves, now we have gas. Uh, proper equipment in general. We have better equipment um, for things that we do, like our grand opening. We actually have a restaurant where people can sit and eat. You know, they don't have to be in the kitchen watching us cook and whatnot. It's, it's great. Get about a half a stick. The Academy is led by Chef John Beck. Chef Beck is a graduate of the prestigious Culinary Institute of America and has experience working in several kitchens throughout the Southeast. In addition to training students with industry standard tools, Chef Beck has helped students find work in local kitchens. It's important that they uh, know they want to do culinary as a career, and most students who are serious about going to uh, continuing education after high school, they, uh, they should work in the industry a little bit. And we try to stress that and try to help them get jobs so they can uh, know that that career is for them. In addition to learning how to prepare a variety of dishes, students are taught by guest chefs and visit successful kitchens in the area to learn more about the industry. They also have the opportunity to get their Serve Safe and Pro Start certifications. It's critical for students to uh, get the certifications we offer here. We, uh, we allow them to take Serve Safe certifications, which is a food manager certification. Uh, we uh, get them on track for the National Pro Start Certificate of Achievement, which gives them uh, scholarships. And we've had about 15 uh, National Pro Start Certificate of Achievement winners in the last 10 years. And these students get uh, scholarship money to move on to culinary college. If I hadn't gone through the program, uh, you know, and I have my service safe certification, and that's uh, as soon as you tell, you know, whoever your hiring manager may be, you know, I'm service safe certified, you know, they totally, they, they hop on you when you have that kind of background. From basic skills to complex dishes, students are expanding their knowledge of culinary arts that will help them advance in their career or college. A lot of the schools, they want you to be in the industry for six, uh, six months, and, uh, and if not that, in some sort of culinary program through high school.
I've actually learned how to chop vegetables better. Like that's the best part about being in the culinary. They teach you like how to do things properly. So that's really cool. Not every student who graduates from the program ends up working in the field, but they do gain life skills that help them to strengthen their bond with their families. I cook every night, actually. <laughs> yeah, my mom makes me cook every night. For Chef Beck, the best part of his job is when students are able to put together the ingredients for a successful career in culinary arts because of what they have learned at Northeast. Those kind of moments are wonderful when a student comes back and you see they have uh, become successful and uh, that's what really makes it. Part of the Northeast Culinary Arts Academy's duties is to feed the football team hearty meals before home games. This is the first year Northeast Culinary Program has a brand new facility available for students to learn and cook in. During the grand opening of the redesigned kitchen, Doug Fisher, the Director of Operations at the Renaissance Vinoy Resort and Golf Club, offered students advice on how to stand out in the hospitality industry. I've been with Marriott 34 years. I started as a bellman uh, when I was in college and uh, stayed with Marriott basically throughout my whole career. Uh, I've been at the Vinoy for uh, 14 years. Uh, but my, mainly my experience is all the way, uh, is, is mainly food and beverage. We uh, basically are, are close to advising them on, on culinary trends in our industry. Uh, we, we actually are available to come to their classroom to speak about various subjects. Uh, we also uh, have reached out to them to have them come to our facility, as well as having them actually work in our facility uh, from time to time. Any of that education that you can get early on is certainly helpful as you get into the workforce, but I do like the fact that they're learning sanit good sanitation practices and, and how to make an omelet and, and the basic uh, uh, instruction of, of uh, you know, food service in general. When I went to high school, it was more like home ec, and I, there was really no, that I remember, hands-on food service uh, training uh, in high school, so we, we are light years uh, ahead uh, by having such a facility like this and as I was mentioning earlier is this the way this facility specifically was designed they're they're putting these types of facilities in hotels I would highly encourage if it's at all, if at all possible for them to start a job somewhere in, in some type of capacity whether it's at McDonald's or somewhere in the food food industry uh, just to just to get their foot in the door even if it was just a few hours a week um, they are getting some great instruction here at the class, in the classroom, uh, but to get, to get into the field slowly and then eventually work their way up into working at a, a, a full-service restaurant or a full-service hotel. We have employed a couple of students from here, and one, I think, is, one is still with us in the bake shop. And uh, um, I, I just think the more closer we can get to bringing more students on, even in a part-time or on-call capacity when we have large functions, uh, banquet functions, uh, just to get them exposed uh, to a, a full service facility is, is, is to our advantage as well as the high school's advantage. The Vinoy was built in 1925 and was added to the U.S. National Register of Historic Places in 1978. Now it's time to take a look at our career profile. Interested in becoming a chef? The typical chef or head cook makes around $40,000 a year. According to the Bureau of Labor and Statistics, 100,600 people in the United States are chefs. The industry is expecting very little change when it comes to job growth or decline within the next 10 years. In Florida, tourism has a $67 billion impact on the economy. That's all the time we have for this edition of In the Works. Don't forget you can check out all of our episodes anytime online at newsroom.pcsb.org or you can catch us on Pinellas County Schools TV station WPDS. I'm Marissa Allen. We'll see you next time.